<clears throat> so now that I have the material prepared, I'm going to start turning on the machine. Um, so the air compressor is on. I have to turn the vacuum system on. Uh, let's see. And right now the vacuum system is turned on. Let's get a little picture of the switch. So <clears throat> that vacuum uh, has a little switch there, and it's on the red position, which is on. So that's good. Um, and then, let's see. Finally, I'm going to turn the machine on. All right, <clears throat> so right now we have three different air pressure settings, and that's different um, for different parts of the machine than actually the actual tool head. So the first thing we have here is air gap pressure. This is how much pressure that the air bearing pressure foot up over here uh, puts out in order to slightly hover above the board uh, without touching it. This down force controls how much force, how much pressure is applied to the cylinder here force the pressure foot down towards the board. And finally, the up force is how much pressure is put into the cylinder from the bottom to push the tool head back up um, to return to the home position here. Um, so by default, the air, air gap pressure should be 25 PSI. So I'm going to hold down the plus here and try to get it to 25. Okay, close enough, 24.8. Downforce, we're going to set this at 12 PSI. And you should never exceed 12 PSI on this one. Okay, 11.8, sufficient. Upforce, let's set that at 16 PSI. Now inside the user manual, you'll find these pressure settings uh, as well as the recommended uh, limits of these ranges that you should set. So everyone should be reading the user manual before using this machine. Um, but these settings have worked for us pretty well. Um, these other foot panel controls don't do anything until the computer is running the ISO Pro software that runs this machine. Over here we have the vacuum table control. And we can enable and disable different sections of the vacuum table. Uh, but notice that it's kind of quiet in here. The vacuum's not on yet. The foot switch down there activates the vacuum, and that allows the, the circuit board to be sucked down into the vacuum. So we see right now the circuit board's kind of hovering above right now, um, and you can kind of flex it. So that's not good during the milling operation. Um, so if we turn on the vacuum table, should improve things. Uh, however, this board is kind of a little bent. And that could have something to do with the, that vacuum material underneath because it's been previously milled out. So we'll keep the vacuum off for now while we're talking. Um, but just know that when you have a situation like this where the board is a little bit bent up, um, that's going to give you non-ideal results. Okay. Now let's go to the computer here. Um, so this computer here is specifically built up to work with this machine. So we're going to log in with a T-Tech login here. There's no password on it. 